An investigation is underway in Japan after a rocket carrying a spy satellite exploded after launch. The company behind the project had hoped to be the first Japanese firm to put a satellite in space. Joining us live now is astrophysicist Sarah Webb. Sarah, appreciate your time as always. Thank you. What went wrong? Do we know yet? We don't know yet what went wrong and because it's so early in the investigation, it could have been a myriad of things that had happened, but it did explode fairly close after off the takeoff, um, so it didn't make it too far off the launch pad at all. And it looks like there's no reports coming through of any injuries at this point. It sounds like all these launches are, are pretty automated these days. Yeah, that is exactly right. So thankfully, there are no reports of injuries. And as you can see with the footage that's on the screen at the moment, that, that rocket launch did um, did explode or did detonate very close to the launch pad. So it is very grateful that automation is um, is used quite widely in different launch facilities and that there were no, no humans that were nearby and hurt. What is concerning, though, is that we're seeing that those flames did engulf the, the current launch facility, which we're told have been extinguished. Um, but it is something that is um, concerning to see. And expensive too, I assume. It must cost millions of dollars to attempt these sorts of launches, I guess. That's exactly right. Yes, launching things to space is a very expensive game. And we this is why we're seeing more private companies like this one, Space One, who are trying to create launch vehicles to get items to space because the demand for satellites is growing exponentially and we don't have that many private companies who are able to do it. So yes, it's an expensive, um it's an expensive task to get things to space. And when things like this go wrong, of course that is a setback. Um, but this is all in the process of trying to trial a brand new rocket system. And what do we know about what this specific launch was was hoping to achieve in space? So this, if it if it had been successful, would have been the first private um, Japanese country to have launched a satellite into space. I believe it was a mock up of a, a spy satellite designed for the payload. So I don't believe it was an actual satellite asset that was within this rocket. But it is unfortunate that it did not make its first test, which means that is definitely going to set back the company on their future endeavours. And more broadly, is it a setback for Japan too? I say they've been throwing a, a lot of money at the space sector. They're really trying to step up their ambitions, obviously. Yes, yeah, as are a lot of different nations because we see that space is becoming a critical asset. Uh, and it, it is a setback, not only for this private company, but for the Japanese ecosystem um, and one that we'll closely watch over the next couple of years if more startups are going to try and launch from Japan or if the demand will be uh, elsewhere around the world. Sarah Webb, really appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much. We'll be watching closely to see the results of that investigation, which is now underway. Thanks again. Thank you.